In Boris Johnson's two years as Prime Minister, never has a by-election mattered more than this one in North Shropshire. With the Conservatives' numbers sliding in the polls, the Prime Minister has faced a series of crises that have severely tested his authority and even threatened his premiership. I apologise. I apologise unreservedly for the offence that it has caused up and down the country. From the sleaze scandal which started this whole by-election process to the row about Covid restrictions and whether they're required in the first place, a loss here it will be a disaster for Boris Johnson. The Tories here have a majority of more than 22,000 votes. They've held the seat for basically 200 years, apart from a few years at the beginning of the last century. But forget Westminster. We're here in North Shropshire to find out what voters really care about. And where better place to start than the high street here in Oswald Street? Did you vote last time in the election? Yes, yeah. Can you ask how you voted then? Yeah, I voted for Boris then. For Boris? Yes. Will you vote this time? Because of Brexit. Yeah, Brexit, yeah. But I doubt it now whether yeah. I'll vote for him because it's a bit of a shambles at the moment. Have you decided yet? Do you know what? I haven't. We've always voted Conservative. And why are, you, why are you not sure this time if you always voted Conservative? I don't know why. I just feel as though they're not really listening. To me. Can I ask how you might vote this time? Conservative. And you always have been a Tory voter. I have, have you? yes. And you're yes. forgiving Boris Johnson for his parties that may or may not have happened in Number 10 Downing well, Street? Well, as you said, may or may not happen. Everyone jumps to conclusions, yes. don't they? Yes. And until it's proven. But yes. um, so does everybody else have parties, but they don't get caught. Is he leading by example, do you think? Um, I think so. I think so. There's one or two mishaps, obviously, in the uh, in, in Number 10 there. Mm. But I think he's, he's up for it, he goes for it. And, um, he says what other people think. May I ask how you might be voting? I don't know yet. You don't know yet. <laughs> no. How did you vote last time? Conservative. Conservative. So you're not sure? I don't think I'll be voting them. No. What's annoying know. you about them? Um, Is it the, yes, you, there's you, too many lies. There's, there's too much cover up. There's, it, it, they're just hypocritical at the moment. And, uh, you know, I think you should lead by example. It, it is one rule for them and one rule for us. Yeah. But I, you know, but uh, there, there we go. Can I ask how you might be voting? Have you decided yet? <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's going to be a last minute thing, I think. Yes. Um, we'll probably vote Conservative usually, but well, with the latest debacle and things that have gone recently, it could be the Liberal Democrats. So yeah. we'll have to see. 48 years of voting, blue team every time. Yeah. The new fella needs a chance between now and the next general election, and if things don't go to plan, well, they won't be getting their vote for sure, will they? What's he doing wrong? I mean, he's had. He hasn't done anything yet. Well, he's got the rollout done with the vaccine. You've been jabbed. Oh, do you mean the blonde idiot? Oh, I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the blonde gentleman. Boris Johnson, yeah. yeah. Um, he is the thorn in my shoe. Is he? There's no question So you vote about. Conservative despite Boris Johnson, not because of him? Yes. And will you vote Tory this time? Yes, I will. All the rows about parties in, in Westminster and all the concern about the Owen Paterson affair, that's why we're here. Are these a problem for you as a Tory voter? Well, uh, yeah, I don't like them very much, but uh, I'll, uh, I have to overlook those. And what do you think about Boris Johnson? I've loved him. You've loved him? I love him, yeah. Really You do still love, love him now? I don't know. And why don't you love Boris Johnson anymore? That's sad. It is really, isn't it? We're popping shortly into the Fox pub to meet the candidates from the Reclaim Party, the Liberal Democrats and the Tories. Have all the recent dramas in Number 10, the parties, Wallpaper Gate, everything else, has that damaged uh, your support on the doorstep in, in North Shropshire? Look, of course there are national issues that are blowing about, um, but what most people are concentrating on here are the factors that influence them every day. So that's about having access to good quality healthcare, having better roads and rail infrastructure, Sorting out rural broadband, we've seen 70,000 homes and rural businesses in Shropshire benefit in the last year, but lots need, still need it, and protecting our farmers and, and our small businesses. Those are the conversations I'm having on the doorstep, and that's what I wanted this election to be about. So has no one said to you, I won't vote Tory because of Boris Johnson? Look, clearly the, the, the situation uh, around parties, etc., have come up on the doorstep. Um, and. I'm, I've been absolutely clear that if there has been misconduct, 
that is unacceptable. I'm angry about it. I went back to the front line during the COVID pandemic. I've been delivering jabs. Um, so it's really important everybody adheres to the rule. And more importantly, everybody goes out and, and gets boosted now. The Prime Minister's ordered an investigation. That was the right thing to do. And if there has been misconduct, it's absolutely right that there's disciplinary action. Helen Morgan, you're the Liberal Democrat candidate uh, here in, in North Shropshire. And what issues are coming up on the doorstep? What are the issues here in North Shropshire which is, might, might lead them to vote Liberal Democrats on Thursday? I think the main issue that's come up has been around ambulances. So um, we've had a lot of really terrible stories about people waiting long, long times for ambulances. And we even canvassed somebody a couple of weeks ago who'd lost her husband recently waiting for one. So it's a really, really important issue that's coming up. Um, and tied in with that has been closure of GP surgeries. So in, uh, we were in St Martin's yesterday. They, they don't have a GP surgery anymore and it's quite a substantial place. We've seen a GP surgery close in Whitchurch. And it's across the board, people are struggling to access a GP. So they're the sort of two major issues uh, that have come up for people. And then obviously in the last week, we've seen a lot of anger around, you know, around Partygate. So it's local issues, plus some big kind of Westminster stuff chucked in there, rows about alleged parties in, in, in Whitehall. Has that been quite damaging for the Tories? And how are you exploiting that? In terms of sort of Westminster stories, the, the original, you know, we're having a by-election because of a sleaze scandal. And that hasn't really come up very much as we've come through the campaign at all. People have really wanted to focus on the important issues that we've got locally. Um, in the last few days, obviously, we've had the whole party scandal. And, and, and to be honest with you, we haven't focused on that. We've, we've focused on our own positive message because I think people here really want to... You know, they want an opportunity to have an MP who's going to listen to them, who's going to uh, take their issues forward in a way that perhaps hasn't happened previously. And they, they understand that it's an opportunity to send a message to a sitting government that, they're, that they've been left behind and taken for granted. So Martin Dobney, we're here in the Fox pub in Otter Street. You are the reclaimed candidate in the reclaimed's first ever by-election campaign. Aren't you worried that you're going to let the Lib Dems in by splitting the Tory vote? Our job is to split the Tory vote quite simply. Um, the Tories need to get their butts kicked. This is turning already into a referendum on Boris Johnson, a referendum on a Conservative Party that a safe previously Tory seat is now no longer safe and they are saying that they're sick of kind of continuity conservatism, they don't recognise conservative values and we came in here specifically talking about the big issues. But to get your own way you're willing to almost allow the Lib Dems in when their policies are against what you're, you stand for, which is basically broadly Tory policies. How is, that, how is that even a good thing for the people of North Shropshire? We've said all along this by-election is about sending a clear message that enough is enough. You know, North Shropshire should be a line in the sand mm. of a Tory government that's completely out of control. Now, they have taken this seat for granted for so long. They haven't, they haven't invested any of the levelling up money. It's all gone to the red wall to try and shore up the votes there. But as far as if we allow the Liberal Democrats in, good. I think that irrespective of the fact I don't agree with any of their politics, and you know, Crisper, <laughs> I, went, I went to Brussels <laughs> to make sure the Liberal Democrats didn't get their way, I gave my entire career up. But in this instance, I think the only clear message is for a safe Tory seat to slip, because then Boris might actually wake up and become a Conservative again. <laughs> Tory MPs will be watching closely the result of this by-election because a general election could be as little as two years away. However, it's not at all a clear-cut result on Thursday. With division on the right from Reclaim and Reform and on the left from Labour and the Liberal Democrats. And this could mean the Tories hang on to this seat by the narrowest of margins. There's not long to wait. Whatever happens is likely that the Tories will be delivered an electoral blow in the by-election on Thursday. And the wider question is the damage it causes to Boris Johnson's premiership. Questions could be asked about whether he's the right man to lead the party into the next general election.